every major research university in the United States will tell you that um, we have a very interdisciplinary culture. In most cases, it's almost impossible to do that at a modern research university. Uh, departments, schools are stovepiped into certain disciplines, and people rarely talk. The unique thing about Brown is that it's really true. Brown really does have this interdisciplinary culture. And my feeling is that the new curriculum kind of created a completely different ethos around education on the campus, and every undergraduate is sort of given the charge to create his or her own education. We recruit these really, you know, awesome students that are very ambitious, and so they, they come up with amazingly diverse and creative approaches to their education. And I think that's sort of filtered through the entire curriculum, and it's filtered to the faculty, and the faculty who come here you know, come because they want to be immersed in this kind of interdisciplinary, free-form culture. I guess ever since I can remember, I was really fascinated by science. The biggest thing in my sort of high school, my young years, was I got very interested in electric cars. And I actually um, worked with my father. We took an old Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, and I converted it to electric. There was actually a, um, a bill in Congress to fund electric vehicle research in the 19 in the mid-1970s, and I drove my little car down to Capitol Hill during the time that the bill was being debated on the, on the Hill, and I took congressmen around and I showed them kind of what could be done with the electric car. So, so actually the work that I did had some legislative impact. For some reason, I became really fascinated with microelectronics and integrated circuits. One of the things that it's really spectacularly great for is communications. Cell phones have gotten so small and so low power and so kind of ubiquitous that it leads you to think, well, what else can you do with this technology? What else, you know, is possible? At Brown in particular, I think we've focused um, our research on healthcare implications of this technology. The most impressive example is the BrainGate project that uh, John Donahue and Arthur Numico and Lee Hochberg lead here. But the idea there is to, you know, network the brain in a way that we can restore movement to people who've lost their movement through accidents or disease. The world around us has changed a lot in the last 30 or 40 years. And unless we grow as a school of engineering, we can't really address these exciting new areas. So what I'm trying to do as, as dean of engineering is grow us, grow the school into these exciting new areas. I think one of the most promising is biomedical engineering. Another area very important is environment and energy, environmental engineering. If we look at the big challenges that are facing the world, Today, the environment and energy are absolutely key. And so we're making, I think, a big push to hire faculty in the area of energy and the environment, people who can make uh, big contributions in uh, solar energy and wind energy, tidal energy, uh, carbon sequestration, improved combustion processes. These are all areas that will have a big impact in the future. Here in engineering, almost every faculty member has several undergraduates working in his or her lab. And, you know, they do really good research. I mean, they're lead authors on major publications by the time they have finished their four years here, which is almost unheralded in American academia. There are two things that we're trying to create that will kind of enhance the Brown experience for our engineers. And the first is the so-called Brown Design Workshop. It's a so-called makerspace within Prince Labs. And the idea here is that students, not just from engineering, but really all of campus, can come and they have an environment with, with excellent, outstanding state-of-the-art tools, with good instruction, with safety, with the workshops that give them instruction in the tools, and they can just, you know, create their, their visions of whatever they want to do. The other thing that we're trying to create is a center for entrepreneurship. Its goal is to basically to kind of support all of the various entrepreneurship efforts on the campus and to enhance them so that our students have an opportunity to take their, what they've learned in the classroom, to create new things in the design workshop. And then if there's an entrepreneurial opportunity that results from that, they have the support and the mentoring to actually you know, create a company around this or some kind of enterprise around it and to leave Brown with an opportunity to really change the world with this great new enterprise. <laughs>